Hello everyone and welcome back to another podcast of Apostles of Muchinjigwa. Firstly, I would like to say thank you to everyone who's managed to watch the previous podcast. Thank you for your likes, for your views and for your comments. And we hope that you'll be able to stay on this journey with us. So the topic for this week is to speak about the Holy Spirit. In Masoe, what is the Holy Spirit? And what is its, its purpose? So when we speak of the Holy Spirit, fundamentally we believe that it is the Spirit of God. For there is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And we believe that the days of the Holy Spirit are not yet numbered. The works of the Holy Spirit are not yet finished. And that the Holy Spirit was not brought to us by the colonizers. Nor was the introduction of the Spirit of God taught to us through Christianity. But the Spirit of God has always been with us. Always. And for me to be able to better to explain this, I would just have to explain a bit more about the Bantu movement of the Shona people. From their migration of Northern Africa down to Sub-Saharan Africa and how in their journey they were led by the Spirit of God. And in this journey how there were signs and there were wonders of the Spirit of God leading us. One such example can be when the people were traveling and they were coming down, there could be stars that could be seen in heaven and in these stars it would show them the direction of where they needed to go. A sign which was telling them from God where God wanted them to be. And in the stories that we were told of our oral history, we were told of the caves that the people of God and his spirit mediums would enter if they wanted to speak to him. And in these caves there would be rocks that would be there to speak. And they would consult this great being, the creator, or Musikavanu in Shona. And through this time, that's when they would find out what the Spirit of God wanted them to do, where he wanted them to go, if he wanted them to stay and for how long. And this was one of the ways in which the Spirit of God was leading them. And you, this can also be traced in the Bantu journey of how You've got a place in Zimbabwe called Njelele, which was a shrine that was dedicated to the Spirit of God. And in this shrine, they said the Word of God would speak to them and it would tell them what they would need to do. So in such cases, such as the liberation struggle, they would go and consult to the Spirit to be able to speak to it so that it might guide them and what they need to do. So if you also look at this kind of shrines along the Bantu track, you can see in places such as Rwanda, there's a place called Njerere, a very similar word to Njelele in Shona. So in this place called Njerere, it served a very a function that was similar to that in Zimbabwe in that this is where people would go to consult the Spirit of God so that it might lead them. These places were used in times of drought, in times of diseases, whether this be amongst people or amongst the animals. They knew that when something had terribly gone wrong, then they would need to consult the Spirit of God. So in these places that you are able to find, it shows the works that the Holy Spirit that was leading us during that times. And you would also hear stories of our of the Shona Bantu group of how 
as they were coming down, the spirit mediums would lead them. And in a case where one of them parted the waters and allowed the people that were traveling, that were being led by the Spirit of God, to go down and carry on with their journey. This bears a remarkable biblical reference to the prophet Moses. And it just shows another sign how we were being led by the Spirit of God in those times. And how amazingly in times where people would hunger through their journeys, they would find food under trees where there was no one close by and no one could be seen, but food was given to them, sometimes hot, sometimes cold. Just showing how the Spirit of God was with us. So in Masowe, the current expression of the Holy Spirit that we have is through that was given to us through Baba Jawani. And he taught us of the Holy Trinity and he taught us of the Holy Spirit of God. And it said that God spoke to him, said, that no longer should I wish to speak upon trees and stones and waters, but now I wish to speak unto man through man, so that I might live with them and so that I might give them my teachings and become closer to them. So the purpose of the Holy Spirit in his introduction into residing into Baba Juhani was that he might be able to get the children of God closer to him so that we might be able to bridge the gap which had become larger between us and the Spirit of God. And this is how you know in Apostles of Muchinjigwa, one of the verses or songs that describes best the Holy Spirit is that Muyamucheni Wabuguka it means that the Holy Spirit has come down. The Holy Spirit has come down to be a blanket for the orphans. When the Holy Spirit speaks of orphans, it does not just mean those who no longer have parents or relatives that are able to take care of them. But when the Holy Spirit speaks of orphans, it considers even those who do not know God to be orphans. For they do not know the Father. And these are the people that the Holy Spirit is trying to get back to God. So that they might know God and know of his love and of his glory and of his grace. So just to close everything off, I wish to say. But when we were came and we were colonized. And we were told to convert from our evil ways. No one ever questioned what these ways were and who was it that deemed them to be evil. This is why I say that it seemed that everything that the African did seemed to be demonized and evil. And anything that was conceived or from the colonizers ideology was correct. And so I wish to say this. God has always been with us. The Spirit of God has always been with us. And surely, if you look deep into enough into our own history, you will find that the Spirit of God has always been leading us. So I hope that I have given you just a brief introduction into the Holy Spirit in Masoe. And next week I will also go into just greater detail about the Holy Spirit. So if you have any questions and if you have any more clarity that you are seeking, please just comment, contact us, let us know. And I will try my best to answer your questions and your queries. Thank you very much for listening and glory be to God.